Hello, in this video, I will be showing you how to make a double-sided business card in Canva. The first thing you want to do is tap on the search bar and you are going to type in business card. After you have selected business card, you are going to be redirected to this page on which you'll see numerous templates of business cards that you can choose from. Or if you have a particular one in mind, for example, if you are a teacher or a freelancer, you can simply select any one of these headings to match your occupation or the type of business card that you are, type, that you are going to create. For example, I'll simply scroll down. And by the way, some of these business cards that you see makes it quite easy to add a double to have a double-sided business card. As this particular one, you only have one one business card right here, only the front. But you can see that this one has two, so this one is double-sided naturally already. So you can select any one of them. Though you can select one that is single. Or you can select one that says one of two. So for this example, I'll simply select this one right here. After you have done that, you are going to tap on customize this template. Once you have selected customize this template, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you will be able to add your own personal touch. So for example, I know you are going to change the name on the card so you can tap on the text box once you have highlighted the text box you'll be able to type in your name after you have typed in your name you'll be able to change the font style by tapping on open sans on my page right here and you can select the type of font that you'd like to use so you can select any one of the fonts that is to your liking. You can also change the font size. You can also change the color of the text by tapping on the capital A. So let's say I wanted the font to be blue. All you have to do is highlight the text, then tap on blue. And that's it. You can change the text right here again, the positioning. And right here, you'll be able to edit each section. So you can change the address, you can change the phone number, you can also add the email address and so on. And over here to insert your logo, all you have to do is tap on the current logo, then tap on the trash can. And after you have deleted it, you're going to go over to elements in the top left hand corner. And from here, all you'll need to do now is simply scroll down until you see frames or you could type in frames in the search bar right there. Or you can scroll down until you see frames. You'll simply tap on see all. Then depending on the style logo that you want to add, for example, let's say you want your logo to be in a circle. You could simply tap on the circle frame, then select upload. After you have done that, you could simply find your logo and all you have to do is simply drag and place it over the circle. Then you can make the circle smaller or larger if you want. As you can see right here, you can also change the background color by tapping right here behind the circle and you can tap on any one of the colors right here or you could select background in the bottom left hand corner. And from here, if you would like more colors, you could tap on the color option. Or if you would like to use one of the preloaded backgrounds, you can select them. Or you could select one from uploads. After you are finished uploading or editing the first page, you can simply tap on page 2 right here. Then you'll be able to edit page 2. After you're finished, if you would want to print it, you can simply tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then after you have selected share, you are going to tap on download. And once you have selected download, what I want you to do next is simply tap on download. Or you can select print cards. And after selecting print cards, you will scroll down and you will see the option select your pages front and back 
and then you can simply scroll down and from here you can tell them the amount of cards that you would like to print then you'll tap on continue and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe